Welcome to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to solve one very very interesting and challenging question from system of equations for the real values of x, y and z. So let's get started by writing here for x, y, z to be real radicands must be positive. These numbers must be positive. We will write x minus 1 should be positive. y minus 1 should be positive z minus 1 should be positive. So from here we can say x, y, z must be greater than 1. Now we are going to use substitution. Let us say square root x minus 1 equal to a. Square root y minus 1 equal to b square root z minus 1 equal to c. So after squaring both sides, we can write here x minus 1 equal to a square, y minus 1 equal to b square, z minus 1 equal to c square. Now our substitution was square root x minus 1 a, square root y minus 1 b, square root z minus 1 c. So our first equation is here a plus b plus c equal to 3. This is our first equation. Now we are going to calculate addition of these three equations. So I can write here x plus y plus z minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 equal to a square plus b square plus c square. Now x plus y plus z this is 6. So here I can write 6 minus 3 equal to a square plus b square plus c square. 6 minus 3 is 3. So we will write a square plus b square plus c square equal to 3. And this is our equation number 2, which we will write here a square plus b square plus c square equal to 3. So we have two equations so far. Now we are going to use one algebraic identity. So I will write here a plus b plus c whole square formula which is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times in the bracket ab plus bc plus ca. Now from equation number 1 this is 3 bracket only. From equation number 2 value is 3. So 3 square is 9. LHS is 9 equal to 3 plus 2 times AB plus BC plus CA. Now we will subtract 3 from both the sides. So minus 3 plus 3 will be over. 9 minus 3 is 6. And if we will divide by 2, we are going to get value 3 and this value is for AB plus BC plus CA. And this equation we are going to consider equation number 3. So equation 1 was A plus B plus C equal to 3. Equation 2 was A square plus B square plus C square equal to 3. Equation 3 is AB plus BC plus CA is equal to 3. Now we will write one algebraic expression. Let me write here a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square. Now we are going to check. Once we will minimize or simplify what we are going to get from here. So we have to expand a minus b whole square, we will write a square plus b square minus twice a b. 
b minus c whole a square. We will write b square plus c square minus 2bc. Then c minus a whole a square. We will write c square plus a square minus 2ca. Now there are 2a square, 2b square. So we can take 2 common out. In the bracket, we'll write a square plus b square plus c square minus 2ab minus 2bc minus 2ca minus 2 is common. So in the bracket, ab plus bc plus c a. a square plus b square plus c square as per equation 2, this is 3. ab plus bc plus c a equation number 3. Here it is, value is 3. So we are going to get 2 times 3 minus 2 times 3 equal to 6 minus 6. Value is 0. We will write here a minus b whole a square plus b minus c whole a square plus c minus a whole square equal to 0. Sum of 3 squares, if it is equal to 0, then each bracket must be 0. b minus c equal to 0, c minus a must be 0. So, we will write 3 equations, a minus b equal to 0, b minus c equal to 0, c minus a equal to 0. So, from our first equation, we will be writing a equal to b. From second, we will write b equal to c. From third, we will write c equal to a. If we will consider all the three equations all together, we will write a equal to b equal to c. Now, let us write our first equation a plus b plus c equal to 3. Now we will apply this result to our equation. So I can write a plus a plus a equal to 3 or 3a equal to 3. After dividing by 3 both sides, we will get a equal to 1. Now we will put this a equal to 1 here. We can conclude a equal to b equal to c equal to 1. All the three values a, b and c must be equal to 1. Now we will use our substitution equations. So I will write here this was a, this was b. And this was c. So I will write x minus 1 equal to a square. Now a is 1. Let me write here a equal to b equal to c equal to 1. So a is 1. We will be writing here 1 is square. And 1 is square is 1. So our equation becomes x minus 1 equal to 1. We will add 1 to both sides. We will get x equal to 2. Similarly, y minus 1 equal to b square from our substitutions. b is 1, we will write 1 square, value will be 1. So we can write y minus 1 equal to 1. Just by adding 1 to both sides, we are going to get y equal to 2. Similarly, z minus 1 equal to c square equal to 1 square equal to 1. So, z minus 1 equal to 1. From here, we are going to get z equal to 2. So, our final answer becomes x comma y comma z 2 comma 2 comma 2. We can check and verify our result also. From here, x plus y plus z equal to 6. So, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. 
from first equation a square root 2 minus 1 will be square root 1 will be 1 a square root y minus 1 will be square root 2 minus 1 a square root 1 1 so each square root is 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye